Hi, ladies and gentlefish. So I've been thinking about y'all lately and how I can make your lives a little bit easier. One of the things I've noticed is that some of us are having trouble navigating through Schoology. I went over this the first week of school, but not everybody was able to attend. So I'm posting this video in hopes that it'll make things a little bit easier for you. So I am currently, I am currently looking at my second block, but all of my classes are formatted the same. I'm going to walk you through what you need to look for and where it can be found. At the very top, I have my, a link to my Bitmoji class. You can access everything through this, so you don't have to go into Google Slides. I have my email here. I have my link to my help desk, which is open anytime we don't have a Zoom room. I also have a leaderboard right here, which ke keeps track of your class average and the number of missing assignments your entire class has. Um, I have links to my YouTube, uh, or my, Mr. Godfrey and I's YouTube channel, uh, my Twitter account, my Instagram. I have a link right here that goes to our slides that we go over during class. I have a Q&A board right here. If you ever have a question, it'll take you to a Flipgrid. You create the Flipgrid, and I will respond with a video message. Um, so I have lots of links here that you might want to take a look at. So let's look over Schoology and its folders. Uh, our course information is always going to be in this little black folder right here. You can find things like the link to the seventh grade website, the syllabus, another link to me and Mr. Godfrey's show. I also keep little random tidbits from class. So uh, whenever we do a do now that requires y'all to share things, random pictures that I take whenever I feel like it, um, and some responses to some of your um discussion posts that I think are really interesting. Uh, I also keep how-to links in here. I take videos of uh, times when I see that everybody's kind of having the same problem. Um, and you can view these if you're struggling on figuring out how to do stuff. Um, I have my daily check-in right here on the homepage. I would like you to complete that at least twice a week just so I can get a feel of where you're at. Now, here's where my biggest struggle comes in is about Zoom rooms. I have two different posts here, but I'm looking at this from my vision, from the teacher version. Now, when I have a Zoom room, you will see this post. It will say, come to the Zoom room, and then at what time? If you do not have a Zoom room, it will say, Zoom room is not required today, and then post your ELA questions here. When you click on this, it will have a link to Miss B's help desk, which is my Zoom room that I keep open on days that we don't have a Zoom room. So, Keep an eye out for which one of these is published. If you don't see this one, the Zoom room is not required, and you see come to the Zoom room, that means the expectation is that you come to the Zoom room that day. All right, and I publish or unpublish depending on the day. All right, so I want to take you through what a week looks like for me, and I've kind of changed the format a little bit to make it a little bit easier. So right here at the top, at the beginning of every week, I have a checklist. I highly encourage you or your parents to print these out, and you will see these in every class that you take, whether it's my class, Mr. Godfrey's class, Mr. Shaw's class, any class. We all have these checklists, and they look like this, and they tell you whether or not you're going to have Zoom that day. It's going to tell you what your learning targets are for each day, and then it's going to tell you exactly what you're supposed to do every day. All right, so print these out, put them on your fridge, keep a track of them so that you know whether or not you're getting all your work done. All right, um, now what I have done is I've put the sustained silent reading folder in between Tuesday and Wednesday. Since we always do our sustained silent reading responses on Wednesdays, I kind of put it in between and it also has a link to short story options if you don't have a book with you. So from now on in this little white folder, you will find your sustained silent reading um, resources. All right. So uh, also I want you to keep track of any updates that might come. I try to post pretty regularly. They'll show up on your Schoology homepage, but they're also, they can also be found in my class under updates. You will find uh, things that I post regularly. So Zoom room up being open, um, videos that I've posted, uh, just announcements in general will be found in that update page. Now, I do not 
put grades on Schoology. I put grades on PowerSchool because they are weighted differently depending on Schoology versus PowerSchool. So that so in order for you to know what your actual grade is, look on PowerSchool. That's the place to go. All right. So I hope that this kind of clarifies things. I hope that you watch this uh, so that I stop getting emails about Zoom rooms and stuff like that. Um, if you have any questions, if there's uh, another video that you need me to do to help you understand how to do something, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. I am here to help you. All right. So I will catch you on the flip side.